What's up, people? Welcome back to the Rat Cave and welcome back, Akai's very best, Rob Dean. How's it going? Back inside the place. Yes, mate. Very well, very well. A little bit tired after Nam. I'm sure. But, uh, but yeah, nice, nice to have you back in, mate. Nice to have you back in the Rat it's a Cave. Pleasure. So now you've brought in today, mate, the, the brand new Akai MPC1. Yes. Yeah. Um, I did catch up with Akai over at NAM mm -hmm. um, with Nick. Big up to Nick for, for taking the time. But what he did was more of like a kind of quick overview and yeah. what he liked about the product. Sure. More of a sales pitch, I would say. No, that's all fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. Rather than an actual kind of product demo kind of yeah. vibe okay. so that's what i wanted to do with you today on this new mpc one um i want you to go over it i want you to explain what it is what you can do with it mm -hmm. and then after that what i want to do is like literally entry level pretend i've never ever touched any music production in my life sure um and i want to see if i can make a beat on it sounds good man. so yeah you know for, for, for the people um who might get this because Without skipping too far ahead, the price point of this is very, very reasonable. Yeah, it's extremely affordable. Yeah, compared so to that stuff. I think maybe people that do know how to produce music and everything, it will it will touch base with them. But I do think that this is a real good product for people that want to get into it without knowing. Yeah, anything. definitely. I mean, we'll cover that a bit more in, in a bit. Of course. Yeah. So first of all, mate. Yeah, just just pitch it, pitch it to the people. Fine. Tell us yeah, what absolutely. it is. So. MPC One is the newest addition to the MPC family. I'm sure you've seen the previous models, like the Live and the X. Yep, yep. Even Force is the cousin to this. So there's a yep. lot of features you'll see across the board, but this is the newest and most compact edition. Yep. So let's look at the hardware to start with, and then mm -hmm. we'll kind of talk about the rest of it. As you can see from the very first part of it, here is the screen. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the same screen you'll get on the MPC Live. So it's multi-touch, multi-gesture, which means I can control two channels at the same time. I can scroll through things really Like quickly. a tablet kind of vibe. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then that's the thing with these is that you, everyone's got a tablet or a phone these of days. Course, so it's yeah. so easy to work with. Yeah. You've got the Q-Links over here. And the Q-Links, if you're not familiar with it, is actually what allows us to map to parameters and components inside of MPC. Right. Yeah. So you've got the same four from MPC Live and you've got a little adjust button there. I will come back to that in a bit. Sure. And below, you've got the 16 iconic MPC pads, which is synonymous with MPC. Yeah. You wouldn't really have an MPC without them. The main difference here is the size. If you see that compared to the X or to the Live, I'm going to do this a lot, a lot of comparisons. Sure, yeah, yeah. This is the same quality, same type of pad, just a little bit smaller to match the form factor of the unit. What I would say as well um, is, like, you can definitely see the in music crossover here yeah um so yeah these are the like the i would say the same pads that are on the new denon sc6000 there's a lot of similarities right? you're seeing it there yeah yeah, yeah. and and that kind of stuff you know and like the, the the color sort of not being a full colored pad but just around the outside yeah i, and I all quite that. like it i think you can I distinguish do. what's going on a bit better yeah, yeah um but you're right it is a lot of similarities across the brands, yeah. as you would see. Yeah, definitely. So the pads are there. As I said, they're a little bit smaller. I have no issues with them. I'm used to finger drum on the large ones. Mm -hmm. It takes like 30 seconds to get used to it, uh, and you're good to go. So screen, Q-Links, pads. On top, it's very different to some of the other units. Right. With the live, there's a lot of screen-based control. We've actually had a bit more tactile button work. So you can then get to your favorite features really quickly using these quick buttons down here. Yep. Which I find makes a really quick workflow. Yeah. Because if you're used to using your screen, fine. But for me, I like the mixture of being Bec able to jump in. Because like the most, like the, the important thing about this is, you know, we covered the, the whole wireless thing of, of, with the force and, yeah. and, and everything else. This is a standalone unit, so you don't need a laptop to use no, this. No, exactly. So the screen is kind of quite important here, a good yeah. size screen, yeah. because with the other kind of bits, if you're using it with into a laptop, then your screen is as big as your laptop screen. Yeah, yeah um, exactly. You know, but with this, yeah, you've got, how, how big is the screen? It's about seven inches. Seven inches, okay. Yeah, so it's plenty of, so it's a good size screen. <laughs> <laughs> good and size everything, it is. mate. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's plenty of space to work with. Um, and it really helps with certain things, obviously, with some of the synths, which you get on here, mm. which are exactly the same as the other models. Yep. You can see all the parameters really clearly, yep. and that's where the Q-Links come in, and that actually allows you to control it like you would any other VST on your laptop. Mm -hmm. So we've looked really quickly at the top. There's some features we can come back to, but we'll look at the back side now. That's where there's some real big changes. Okay. So from the back corner, you've got your line outputs, Yep. Really simple. You've also got line input. So that's your sampling capabilities, yep. which again, MPC, that's the thing it does amazingly well. And along with other stuff, you can sample directly in from instruments, microphones, of course, vinyl. You yeah, can yeah, straight in. very important. You've got your 
MIDI in and out, so you can use this with your external MIDI equipment. Yep. Really, really useful. And then above it is CV gate output. Yes, yeah, so for people that don't know, could you explain what that is? Yes, yeah, so CV gate is a way of controlling modular equipment. So mm -hmm. if I've got a Euro rack, which is just a modular casing for sort of modular devices and synthesizers, you can use this to control it. Um, there is other products on the market that can do that, but it's a little bit convoluted. You don't have that display you have here which means you've got that cross weld of the hardware and then the software, mm -hmm. which is really useful. And you'll find a lot of people will be interested in using that CV control um, because, as I said, it's so easy to use on here. And then on from there, you've got your USB 2.0. So this is a great point to talk about the connectivity. Yep. So MPC 2.0 software, which you may be aware, is our DAW essentially. Right. Which yep. means that what happens is you can connect this directly into your computer. Yeah. And this becomes a controller. So yeah, going back, actually contradicting what I said before, even though this is a standalone, you can then use it. Yeah. So this is where it's kind of like a split mind. Yeah. Because you might do 95% on the hardware, yeah. but then you jump into your computer to use your existing plugins. Yeah, yeah. So if I have various high-end plugins I want to use for mix and mastering, yep. we're not cutting that out because we're not stupid and thinking people are ignoring existing stuff. Of course, stuff. of course. So in terms of, d does this work across the board on all producing software or is it just... So what will happen is you'll connect it to the 2.0 software yep. and then it will basically relay all the information on the screen to the MPC. So it will look like it's in standalone mode, right. but in fact, it's actually reading the, the MPC software. Okay. But what happens is that can be used as a VST or an AU inside of your favorite DAW. Okay. So if you wanted to take a version of MPC 2.0 as an instance inside of Ableton or Logic, yeah. you can do that. So you have all the power of that inside of your DAW. Okay, yeah. Which is also yeah. worth mentioning is export modes. So if I was going to work in Ableton specifically, yep. I can bounce from here like you can on the other NPCs yep. as an Ableton live set. Yeah, yeah. So you've got that kind of jump back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just to say as well, um, referencing to the last video that, that we did with the wireless stuff, yeah. does this work with the wireless? It doesn't have Ableton integration in that sense. Okay. No. All right. Um, what it does have is obviously, which will come up, well, we'll talk about it now. You oh, brought yeah. it on so nicely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is something which it doesn't have, is the wireless technology you had on the other units. Yeah. It's one of those things, it's a smaller device, so you have some things taken out. Yeah. And the way we get around that is Ethernet on the back here, which actually yeah. a nice segue back to well, what we Well, there you go. About. You can still... Um, you can still connect it, just, just yeah. not, not with the wireless so bits. The way you'd use it, so obviously Splice was a huge feature on the other models, which we could download content wirelessly. Mm -hmm. You could still download it, you just connect it to your computer via an adapter or via an Ethernet cable to your router. You can still do that, yeah. but it's obviously not wireless. But it's one of those things you can still do a lot of the same features. Mate, for this for this price point, you know, this is oh, a fair, fair bit cheaper than, than the others. You would expect to lose some things. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you know, but as, as long as you can still connect it, then, then that's fine. So yeah, yeah it, it integrates with Ableton, it integrates with Logic it, it, and it, like... Yeah, well, as much as it can be loaded inside of it, obviously exporting to Ableton's there. Um, in terms of like mapping, like the integration of the other units, it's not quite the same, but mm -hmm. it's a, about using it in those two worlds. Yeah, and... You know, the same as anything I do kind of say, I've said this about the Prime 4 again, you know, referencing back to another in music mm -hmm. brand. It's a standalone unit. So, yeah. you know, you want to take advantage of it being standalone, buying it for, for, for what it's kind of made for. And you want to be making beats on the fly. And then if you do then want to sort of export them into Ableton, then you exactly. can do that. Exactly. It gives you the option. Yeah. It'd be naive of us to be like, no, you can't, you're stuck. You yeah. can't do it. Yeah. This is us being like, right, you can share this. Yeah. And what is great about it with this is that you get a huge amount of content as well. Um, with every NPC, you get a huge amount of stock content. Mm -hmm. It's very similar, but there is some additional sounds on there as well from various producers. And you've also got a exclusive F9 Instruments pack, which is free to download, which is a lot or a, a, a huge amount of um, multi-sampled instruments from high-end keyboards, nice. and particular sounds. And it's from one of the guys from the Freemasons. So it's all been done really, really professionally. Okay, yeah, the, um, Freem the, the house, the house yeah, Freemasons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. And so this will be available. It's not shipped on the device it's a download so you have to right. download that from the website okay um, but that's really worth noting because people won't know about that straight away sure so just to mention the, obviously the, the comparison from this to the live and the x yeah obviously the x is much bigger so maybe not look at that as a comparison but the the live being its nearest relative has a battery in it this doesn't have the battery in it and it doesn't have the wi-fi capabilities but other than that 
You've got some other differences, but the OS is the same across the board. So this MPC one, it needs mains power. It, it does. Has to be plugged yeah, in. It needs yeah. to be plugged in via the, the supply yeah. mains. But I mean, still very portable in that it will fit in your rucksack. Oh yeah, in terms of the actual size, there's no reason you couldn't take yeah. it around. Yeah. You just need to have a, an available socket to use it with. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So how big is the storage on this thing? So it's not huge storage in there. It's about three and a half gigs of internal. Three and a half gig of internal. Um, but this is actually a great point to say that you've got a USB-A port in the back. Yeah, okay. And you've got an SD card slot in the front. Right. So you're really unlimited to the devices you're connected. Of course. So today I've got a SD card on the front, which is 64 gigs, and mm. I haven't even touched the surface on that because yeah, yeah. it's... The, the file formats aren't huge, um, but it depends what you put on it. Yeah, you know, yeah. You obviously want all of your samples in WAV or, or yeah, whatever, exactly. you know, high yeah. quality, but a lot of the samples are only little samples. Yeah, so. exactly. I mean, what I've got on there is loads of the, the packs. Obviously, with any sort of beat making system, you can get expansions, which you can do for this. Yeah. And I've got a load of them on there, and I've still got tons of space. Mm. So, should we make a beat? Yeah, yeah, mate. So, I mean, so you happy with like yeah that's that's pretty much all of the um or like the overview of of the top yeah exactly so looking at the top that's sort of we've talked yeah. about hardware the top the back and then so yeah the best thing to do now is just throw throw me in throw you in yeah, yeah. and, and then, what we can uh, do is, is just kind of discuss stuff as we go as, as we go perfect all right mate yeah so let's 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 do that then okay so like I said before let's do this as if I've got no clue right right not okay. as, it's not, not as if I took a degree in digital music yeah. or anything okay um, but you know that, that that was a long time ago <laughs> and a fair few beers ago um, so yeah with this thing let's say I've, I've got it out of the pack yeah I've, I've, I've got it out of the box I've got it set up where do I go in making my first like right beat and so you're going to yeah. be the hands today all right yeah, I'm going to point you around yeah. so the first thing you want to do is search for some content. So yep. add some drums or something like that. Mm -hmm. And to do that, you just press browse. If you want to press that. Browse there. That's it. And you'll see your expansions. Yeah. And here you can jump around the menu and find your internal stuff or your places. But then expansions will go into one of the, the kits or one of the, the packs which are included on NPC one So if you touch on there. Yeah. And this is all, like, like you said, multi-gestural. So that's can, it. You yeah. can slide up and down. It's beautiful. So you jump onto there. And then you can choose this section here which is the type of things you're looking for so you've got samples you want to look for kits so we're looking for kits and you can use the the screen to look around and select sounds or you can use the encoder on the data dial yeah and what you can do is audition them as you go to find the kit you want to get inspiration from i like how how you call that an audition because i mean it would be it's in effect a preview yeah right but yeah, audition makes it sound it more, it more like more like classy, an instrument, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it, is, yeah. it is an instrument. Yeah. It's an instrument. Yeah. Um, and what's cool about this is that you can sync it as well. So if I press on the audition tab, like with the other hardware, and it's important to stress because I'll say this a lot, is that it's the same OS on MPC Live and MPC X. Yeah. So okay. you, if you're already a Live or an X customer, this is so easy to jump onto. Yeah. It's the same world. Yeah. Yeah. But you can sync stuff up. So if I've got a beat playing in the background at 120 BPM listen to a sound which isn't necessarily in that BPM, it will sync it up. Yeah. So it helps you make those decisions quicker. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have a little scroll around, find something that sounds cool. Cool. Heavy. Yeah, I mean, that. that's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm down for that. That's pretty good. So then I, I click load that's down it. here. And that will load it into your sequence. Yeah. It's worth mentioning up here, we've typed in hip hop. Yeah. And that shows you your full QWERTY keyboard there. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy to navigate. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the kind of beat that I was looking for is a hip hop Fine. So beat. it's a heavy West Coast. That's it. Yeah. That's All right. it. Yeah. So we jump back into your main screen. And I've just got to explain to you how it works inside of it. It's yep. very different to your linear left to right inside of your DAW. So what software do you normally use to write Ableton. In? Ableton. Yeah. Okay. So it's slightly different to that. Okay. We work in sequences. So a sequence could be an intro, could be a verse, chorus, outro, mm -hmm. and that will be your set bars. So maybe you have a four bar intro, you have a sequence one, and then your verse would be eight bars, that's sequence two. Yeah, okay. And within the sequence, you have multiple track types. So for this, we're using drums, you've got key groups, which is our multi-sampled elements. You've got your clips, which is a little bit like having a, a launch system. So yeah. I can load in samples and launch them, yeah, which is okay. the performance side of things. Yeah, yeah. You've got MIDI CV control. So you've got plugins like you have on the rest of the range, which are just here. So you've got baseline, electric, and tube synth. So built-in plugins again, which is a huge sell for something of this size. Mm -hmm. So we've got a sequence set up. We want to go to drums to start with, and we can just go and find the kit, which is here. And if you press on there, it'll show you all the kits that are loaded. And you can see the pads are lit and up yep. with all of the sounds. Yep. So have a play and see what sounds good. Okay. Wow. 
Okay, so yeah, you've got like your kind of drums da- down the bottom. That's it, and then the purple ones are all, all your songs. So that's like, that, you know, that's like all put together for you. And so then like, got the chops. one hits, chops and stuff. Yeah, so maybe we should start with the drums. Yeah, so okay. If we say, right, we've got these two good hits. Yeah. You can tap in your tempo over this side. So you can tap that in, but let's say it's about 88 BPM. Yeah, 88, 90, yeah, yeah. So, so that kind of stuff. So is that on, where, where's the tempo now? Can so the tempo is just up here. So on the top oh, yeah. the sequence, it says the speed and then it says the bars as well. Yeah, okay. So would you normally want to do two bars to start with or would you do more? Let's do two bars. Because, okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the general and then uh, assuming that it then repeats. Yeah, yeah you can go on from there. So yeah, cool. when you're ready, you can obviously set your metronome up here. So that's already set to record when we do that. And you press record and play start and that will count you in and you can record it from there. Perfect. Do you want to have a practice or are you good to go? Mate, let's go. Let's go for it. Professional. Go on, <laughs> mate. Just before we do, I'm going to jump into the grid mode here so you can actually see the mini information going in, which is some people prefer to do it that way. I reckon I that would be, see it. Yeah, it I think that'd be that would be easier for me. Okay. So when you're ready, you just press record, play start, and it'll count you in. And you okay, go. right, let's do it. Right, hold on. Let, let me just remind myself here. All right, cool. Cool, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Cool, pretty much bang on. Yeah. Just checking here that you had the quantized turned off, so very impressive. Oh, there yeah. you go, right. So Natural. yeah, if I wasn't like in time then, then it, it with the quantize off, it wouldn't have snapped to the grid. No, 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 exactly. So that would have been as played. Yeah. If you prefer to have it gridded on the way in, you can. But what I like to do is play it without and then go back. I'll tell you what we'll do then. Let's leave the quantize off. I'll put some hats in, and then we'll quantize. Which will probably yeah, realistically be off beat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, so you've got some hats here. Yeah. So if we just do the same, but we're overdubbing this uh, time. Yeah. It's just overdub, play and start, and then we'll do that. Cool. All right. Sweet. So not not amazing playing. No, that was just absolutely. There. I I did it on purpose, mate, <laughs> oh, for the yeah, sake yeah. of the quantize. Right, right, whatever. <laughs> so what we do now, because we've got these tools at the top, I can select elements. So let's just select these bits here. Yep. And then we go to TC. Got a sixteenth, and it's on about hundred percent. So that's going to grab it and move it to the nearest point. Yeah. And now if we play it back. Yeah. Cool. I mean. Some things are slightly off because if it is between two points, of it, course, it won't be bang on. But then what you can do is select individuals yeah, exactly. and move so them all around. Go in there now, yeah, yeah, cool. Choose the bits. And what you can do as well, if you wanted to, is just take the first section and then repeat it. Because okay. if the first half works, we can just say, right, let's copy or select these bits here. So up to the first first bar. Press shift, cut, or use the eraser tool. And then we just grab this section here, which we like, mm -hmm. copy, and we just press at the play point there, and then we just paste it. So the thing which is off on there is the drums. So your perfect playing wasn't quite perfect. Oh, okay, right. So what we can do is just go in and say, right, this kick drum here, let's just nudge that. And these ones here as well. Yeah, they need nudging over here. We can just grab those. Or we can just jump into here and say just the selected bits do it. And then it should sound a bit better. Yeah, cool. To be honest, I like I like a bit of, especially with that particular kit. Yeah. It's more of like a live kit. I think it sounds quite nice when it's got a little bit of swing. Exactly. And like, for people... Well, a lot of NPC users are going to be hip-hop users. Not yeah. everyone. There's a lot of them. Sure. And they'll have it off the whole time. And yeah. that's about finding the pocket and mm -hmm. doing that sort of stuff. That's great. But if you're just new to it and you're playing these beats and it doesn't sound right because it's off, you can go in and there tailor it. There is the it. option to And quantize. what you can do on here as well is turn down the strength. So you can say, right, I can quantize it, but on like 50%, I suppose yeah. 100%, yeah. because then you can go in. 
it's also worth mentioning that you've got swing, which again is huge on NPCs. So yeah. If you've got the hats on here, we can do that again. Say, right, let's just grab the hats now. Just across like that. And we just turn the swing up to like 64. And this should swing it. Yeah, see, I like that. Adds a bit of flavour to it. That's it. That's it. There is one little bit that we missed. One there. There you go. That, just that grab, so that grab that. It's only a bit. And then, bang, bang, bang. And then the swing. That swings it there across. you go. Cool. All right, mate. So I'm pretty happy with those drums. Then. Yeah. We'll have them. Um, let's put a bass line on it. Perfect. So, like I said before, we've got the F9 instrument selection in there. So mm -hmm. if you're going for 808s, that's a good way to go. 808s always a way so to pop for me. If you go <laughs> to number track two. And then you say, right, let's go to the key groups. We've got to just see if it's in there already, which it's not. Oh, it is. We can browse that like we did before and load it otherwise. Yeah, with the old scrolling That's down there, find, down find there. the right kit. Yeah. And what we want to do is put this into scales mode because this has only got 16 pads. Mm -hmm. So it will set the scale for you. So if you know you're in C minor, it will lock it into there. You can even do chords, you can do scales as, uh, or progressions as well. So does that? So what you're saying is then every pad here will be in in key exactly with, yeah. like, so with, with each other so you can't really hit any sort of bum yeah so great for people no musical knowledge yeah great for people who've got a lot of it because they can just shut the brain off and just get the exactly. ideas down exactly that so to get to that you press shift and then go to 16 levels and underneath it says notes and that opens it up cool yeah so we're in C minor yeah so now you can play around with that figure out what sounds good and then you can record on top of it alright sweet Okay, well, mate, yeah, let's let's go in. So actually, now will probably be a good time. These pads are velocity. They are pads. So this so, is a good point. Yes. Yeah. If you're playing stuff which has to be full velocity, you can actually customize the velocity settings either in the preferences and say, right, I want it always to be a different value. Yeah. Or temporarily by pressing full level. That keeps them all at the same. Exactly. So for this, this is perfect. I think for a bass line, it probably is. I mean, in, in all honesty, maybe the drums would be better with that off. We, I think you, we had it on for the yeah. drums. But, you know, for, for the sake of this, yeah. So, so the bass line, I would have it. Right, mate, let's, let's, let's get put this bass line on. on. All right. So, so what I'll do is I'll go back onto Overdub. Actually, what I want to do is have it back onto that note view. Yeah. Uh, with, the, the sequencing view, sorry. With this, because it's going to be in note mode whilst you're performing, you can't actually see the, the oh, okay. mode. But afterwards, you'll be able to see it. And then you'll be able to move it around exactly and bits and bobs. Yeah. Is the quantize still on? I think it is. It is. It's set. Let's take the swing off. Yeah. This is on the 16th. And then you're good to go. All right. Cool. Let's have it. So overdub and then play start. That's it. That is moody. It is well moody, isn't it? So what we want to do now, it sounds a bit clustered. Right. And one thing that people think about groove boxes or, or standalone production units is that it, there's no mixing capabilities. Mm -hmm. Not the case on MPCUs. Right, okay. So yeah, what we kind of want to do is sidechain the bass. Is that yeah, possible? Yeah, that's completely possible. Cool. So to do that, you can go into two ways. You can either just press on the eye icon here and see your channel strip. Or you can go to track mix and you can see all the elements from there. Nice. So to do a side chain, I'm going to do this really quickly. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to just jump into the drums here. And we're going to go to the track mix. And if I double press it, I can get to the pad mix. And that's just that one sound. Yeah. So kick drum. And that's, then you've got an insert. That's what we want. So you can have four inserts per pad. So wow, okay. Process, and it'll be yeah, that is. If you overload it, that will be because you've got tons of plugins on there. Mm -hmm. But that does give you a scope of what you can do. Yep. If I go onto here and I say, right, we've got all of our effects grouped up. We want to go to dynamics. And then we've got Mother Ducker. So Mother Ducker is our Great side name. chain. I'm compressor. sold already. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> so we set the input is the kick drum. And we jump out and go into the group header. So we've got on the 808, there's a channel strip on there already. But we can just put beneath it the mother ducker itself. And if you press the pen tool, you can see the duck. Yeah, so there, there he is. When I press the play button, you'll see the kick drum come in. And if I play the threshold using the key links, and it bounces along with it. Yeah. 
Oh, look at him bounce. Look at he's it. loving it. He's a gangster duck. I feel like I've made this tune for him. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually a good point to notice the cue links. You can see everything I touch is already mapped to the encoders. Yeah. So that process of, of mixing is so simple. Yeah. Next thing I want to do is maybe just say, right, the actual drums are a touch too loud, so we can bring that down just like that. Yeah. But if I want to do the individual elements, we do the same again. So... Yeah, maybe take the bass down a bit. Yeah. Mate, yeah, like the whole workflow of this is, is so decent, like... find the right hit on there. So, this is the interesting thing here. There's a crash on there. Yeah. If you wanted to take that crash out and just have the kick, what you can do is go into your sample editor. And so this trim is, the sample. That's it. This has gone a little bit deep. I don't want to go too far in it, yeah. you can get lost. And we go to the kick drum here. We can say, right, let's just drag it down. Yeah. Yeah. See, I think that's a bit. I mean, maybe take it a little bit. Yeah. So just grab it and move it from there. Yeah, that's nice. And you can control all of that. So that's a whole different thing. Yeah, that that's is. A whole that's, sampling that's, video. that's not quite quite beginner stuff. I mean, to be honest, mate, I'm quite happy with that. I think that we've, you know, we've we've shown two layers, and then from there on in, you can then add your synths and your this and your that. That's it. I mean, again, know. we've barely touched on the synths, but again, that that is, it's not a uh, an advanced feature, but it's something that takes a bit of explaining. Um, and for this, this is a perfect overview because, I mean, that's you know, these are the other samples within within the kit. Yeah. So I mean, I tell you what, let's. Let's let's stick a couple of li little yeah, hits in. Yeah, let's just check yeah. in the right key. So let's press. Look at that. It's in the right key. So same what, again. What so touch, we've got the yeah. drums. Just got overdub. I mean, you're ready. Yeah, mate. And just like that. I am Dr. Dre. There you go, mate. <laughs> so you can then export that out, put it onto your computer, finish it, release it. Yeah. So it's really, really quick workflow. That's the main thing. Yeah. It's the same workflow you've got on the previous models in a compact but powerful package, which is really, really useful. Yeah, for sure. Just if somebody, say, didn't have a laptop and they were just using this as standalone, like my first to go to then was I've just made this banging beat. I'm going to call up Snoop. And I want him to chat some lyrics over Yeah. It. Is there an input on there here? There is, you, absolutely. Yeah. So as we mentioned at the start, you've got this available input in the back. Yeah. And there's also an audio pane. Right. So we're working completely in MIDI then. Mm -hmm. But we've got an audio pane. So I can actually say, right, let's arrange this as a song. And you can do that using the song arrangement area. But what I'll do is maybe say, right, I want to record a phrase. You can do that. Just plug it straight in. If you've yeah. got a mixer, you've got your microphone in there. Nice. Go straight in and you can record it directly into the channel and process it as well. Perfect. Perfect. Well, mate, yeah, I am sold. I am sold. <laughs> I, th I think it's brilliant. Like I said, for the price point as well, um, anyone that kind of knows their way around music production will be a complete whiz on this already, particularly yes. people that are already familiar with the old, with the Akai, uh, yeah, already exactly. existing Akai stuff. Um, but it is as simple as that, guys. Like, you know, for someone that sort of doesn't know their way around it. This is the first time that I've, apart from at NAMM, this is actually the second time that I've seen it, but I didn't get to have a proper go on it in, at NAMM. Um, you know, with your help and now with this video's help, you'll be able to make beats, not just hip hop, there's loads of different yeah, samples I mean, on there. It's a great way of, particularly as you said, you saw it at NAMM, didn't get hands on, and this yeah. is why it's good for you to do it, because if I was playing the whole time, you'd be like, oh, that looks good, but I haven't tried it. For that's sure. That's what it's about, is, is trying it out. But in regards to samples, it covers all genres. Yeah. So even if you're in a band and you want to say, right, I want some acoustic drums, there's some in there. Yeah. And you can start But of course, but you can add your own samples into it. Exactly. Well. It's, it's, not, it's limited not, not by just, yeah. whatever you've got, really. Yeah, that's it. All right, mate. Well, yeah, let's leave it there. Rob, thank you pleasure. so much, man. You are Always like a an, an Akai genius. So, yeah. Uh, guys, if this has been helpful, thumbs up. If you don't like my beats, then... Thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. There's going to be loads of thumbs down. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you know, tag anyone who you think might find this uh, helpful or interesting. 
as per usual, drop your questions in the comments and I will try and get back to you. But uh, yeah, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.